Hi, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, welcome. My name is Megan Pasricha and I'm the co-founder and president of Global Youth Health, a nonprofit that teaches young people like yourself to become leaders in their communities. We started this YouTube channel to provide messages of empowerment for young people and to share some of the lessons that we have learned to hopefully help you in your journey to becoming a leader. So today's leadership lesson is listening to your gut. This is one of the hardest and most difficult skills that you are going to have to learn as a leader, to take lots of information and use it to make a decision based on what feels right. It's kind of like writing an essay. Uh, you have lots of facts and you have to pick which facts are most important and form an opinion, your thesis statement. It is your thesis statement that then guides the rest of your essay. Similarly, it is your decisions that will guide the rest of your life. So when I was younger, I asked for a lot of advice. And when I had to make a really tough decision, like what college I wanted to go to or my career path, I asked for advice. And as a leader, it's really important to have mentors because that's how you get all the information to make an educated decision. The issue was that I'd reached a point where I could hear everyone else's advice for me. My mom's, my dad's, my sister's, my teacher's, my friends, everyone else's view on what the right path forward was for me. And I couldn't really hear my own voice anymore. So I started to meditate. And some people think that the way that I started to meditate was a little extreme. I went for a 10 day silent meditation retreat called Vipassana or Vipassana. That's right, 10 days silent. And it was amazing and life changing. What it really taught me how to do was to cut out the noise and listen to my gut. Now I recognize that you might not have 10 days to go for one of these meditation retreats. One thing that you can do is go into a quiet room and just start observing your breath. Notice how your breath changes as different thoughts enter into your mind. And don't try to change your breath, just observe. And over time, you will start to hear your voice again. And for some people, their form of meditation is yoga or running or swimming. Whatever it is that helps center you and helps you be quiet and focus on connecting your mind and your body. Now, why is this important as a leader? Let's take a CEO as an example. A CEO constantly has to make decisions based on information that they're getting from their employees, the media, their customers, maybe friends and family, their board of advisors. They have to do what feels right for everyone involved. Now, what does this have to do with you? Your decisions are going to guide your entire life. Whether it's as small as saying no when a friend offers you a cigarette, or deciding what college to go to. You get to decide, so make decisions that you are proud of. Let your actions and your decisions be your leadership legacy that you leave with the world. And my advice is don't be afraid of the silence because it is in the silence that your voice will be the loudest. So if you want to learn more, keep watching our videos. Please comment below and tell us what you do to center yourself. Tell us what you do to cut out the noise and listen to your gut. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and keep watching because there's a lot more to come.